Hello, my name is Samana Abbasi and on behalf of my co-authors, I'm going to present our novel image generation method to synthesize anatomically meaningful 4D label cardiac MR images. The medical research community faces several issues related to the data, such as lack of proper data, subjective annotations, restrictive clinical privacy, and expensive acquisition costs. Physics-based image simulation, as well as data-driven image synthesis approaches, have been used extensively in the deep learning community. They help in augmenting the existing data sets, improving domain generalization and adaptation techniques, as well as validating and benchmarking performances. However, the applications of synthetic images are still very limited. Limited anatomically meaningful annotated images makes it very difficult to generate high-dimensional data that reflect both motion and volumetric changes. In this work, we address these limitations by combining the physics-driven anatomical model with data-driven image synthesis approaches. The extended cardiac torso whole body models, or in short, XCAD models, are one of the com most comprehensive digital models covering a vast series of phantoms of varying ages from newborn to adult, each, par each comprising parameterized models for cardiac and respiratory motions. The XCAD program offers various parameters to control the heart shape and motion, such as the scaling factors in 3D, the length of the beating heart cycle, left ventricle volumes, and so on. So we can use this XCAD program to create an accurate and controllable 4D voxelized heart models. On the other hand, the generative adversarial networks or GANs are very popular these days to synthesize realistic looking images. In conditional GANs, some certain input data is used as the input of the generator to provide more guidance and semantic information for the image generation. However, one of the challenges is that the semantic information and spatial relations of different classes might get removed in the stacks of convolution, normalization, and nonlinearity layers. The state-of-the-art spate GANs using the masks in a novel spatially adaptive denormalization layer in which the normalization happens in a channel-wise manner and the modulation parameters depend on the input segmentation mask and they vary with respect to the location. Using these special arrangements prevents the loss of semantic information in the network. Moreover, the combination of an image encoder and the generator can be used to replace the input noise and transfer the global style of the input image in a variational autoencoder setup. Our conditional image synthesis network is trained on real image data, which is the ACDC cardiac dataset, with their corresponding segmentation labels. We, we use the spade technique to preserve the anatomical content of the labels during image generation. At the inference time, we swap the used segmentation labels with our voxelized labels, which are derived from this XCAT surface-based heart model. We use the flexibility of the XCAT motion model to make a set of 4D labels of the heart, which are consisted of sets of 2D slices at different locations and times, including only the classes which are provided by the real data. These new control labels are then used to synthesize new images. Using the parameterized motion model of the XCAT heart, we generate labels for 25 time frames of the heart for one cardiac cycle at 18 different locations of the short axis view. Subsequently, realistic images are generated from these labels with modality specific features which are learned from real cardiac MR image data during the training. In the VAE setup, we alter the architecture of the encoder by removing the instance normalization layers. Then the encoder is in charge of capturing both the global and local appearance of its input image. This setup is useful in controlling the style of synthetic images in the reconstruction of unlabeled surrounding organs of the heart. When the instance normalization layers are kept, only the global st style is transferred to the output image. To summarize, we propose the hybrid method to synthesize a virtual population of 4D labeled cardiac MR images with a wide range of anatomical and style variations. Small variations and inconsistencies in the background can occur because lack of labels for this region. The future works include improving the guidance in the background as well as the quantitative evaluation of synthetic data in different multi-site and multi-vendor applications. We recommend you to check our recent Mikai paper which is a follow-up of this study. Thanks for your attention.